Okay, folks, we're back. Welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force 2. I'm Heaven's Frogman, and now we're going to take a look at what's down these stairs. Oh, look, it's a cutscene! Well, no more complicated than most RPG strategy games, you know? Yes, that's right. Please, for the love of God, tell us what the damn sword is so I can go kick Sion's ass and we can all go home and have cream cheese. On toast. Okay, so we get to watch the Renaissance look alike, uh, turn around and try to remember where the damn book is. Looks like you got it. Alright! Yay! Let's find out. Oh god, is there a string attached to, to this? Oh great! The missing page is... There's a missing page. You know, I wonder how these people feel about feel about um, giant birds flying about in their house. Oh my god. This isn't going where I think it's going, is it? Right, we got that. Oh my god, are you serious? You're just gonna force me to wander around the area and look for the damn thing all by myself with no fucking clues whatsoever? Fuck you people, you're no help at all! Ah! Okay, so you go downstairs. Or, downstairs, yeah. Anyway, search the chest, grab yourself some evil knuckles. Thought that we'll ever use them, but... Nah, whatever. The Ancient Tower. Very original. Talk to Chaz again. And he wants to come with us. Well, whatever. So Chaz joins the force. Chaz isn't ac actually isn't too bad a wizard. If you if you haven't been training up Tyrion, or um, if you uh, turn Kazan into um, a crappy wizard like I did, then Chaz isn't ex isn't actually a bad choice. I think he learns the main three elemental spells, and I think uh, the spell. Don't hold me to that though. Okay, so he. Look at the chest and grab ourselves a quick chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. Now I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, where the stairs is. Oh, sorry, folks. On the left is the uh, our stairs out of here. But here you have an item shop. We're not gonna buy anything right now. You won't, you won't be purchasing any more weapons at, after this point in the game. Okay. Okay, folks, I'm actually going to go back to the to the priest back there and revive my dead characters. So, I'm going to cut the video here for a second, and I'll be right back. And we're back, folks. We're all back up to health again, and time to go back up and get some fresh air. Okay, so if you exit the south area of town here... Try to leave, and Lemon stops you. Oh, he waits! Oh, what do you want? Hey! 
Hey, not bad! do group hug. Seriously, isn't... That's what I'm thinking when I see that. Is it a group hug. Anyways, Lemon the Red Baron joins us. Well, normally yes. But there's a problem. Let's see. Do we happen to have a spare sword we can hand him? Cause I, cause I need to show you guys something. Screech, hand over that great sword to uh, Lemon, please. Okay, so... What happens when we try to equip the great sword? Nothing! Even if we try to equip his old Dark Sword, nothing. That's right, folks. The, unfortunately, the emulator I'm playing on, Gens, unfortunately has a very strange glitch in which you can, which Lemon will not equip any weapon whatsoever. Period. Unfortunately, this renders him completely useless. So the only way around it, I can suggest, is to play this game with an emulator other than Gens. Unfortunately. Okay, so with that said, we walk. I mean, otherwise, I would, um, I probably would switch out Luke for him. But if we go down here, we get our, we get the scene set for our next battle. Hi there! Here's your chance for promotion! I think I got that a little confused, pal. Okay, so what do we have here? Dark Gunners, Minotaurs, Hellhounds... Yeah, basically more the same. Oh, there's still a White Dragon down here. And another white dragon. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Oh, but look here! We have more enemies! And another white dragon, and... Yeah, this, this looks like it could be fun. Oh! Interesting. This guy's got the evil ring. He'll probably drop that once we kill him. And here's our boss, the Hydra. Okay, folks, I'm actually, this is not a boss battle, so I'm actually going to jump ahead and actually, um, I'll be back when I am at the end of the fight here, so I'll be back. And there we go, folks, uh, the Hydra is the last one standing, and he is about to fall to tie us some magic, so let's do it! Now, show him your power! Oh yeah! Very nice. And Tanya goes up a level. And she learns Neptune, finally. Okay, folks, um, before I go, I will say one thing. I never did mention the White Ring has, a, has an ability, and it's quite a powerful one. It actually has the ability to cast Aura 2 when used as an item. Okay, so. And it is only equipable by Bully and Vikers. Okay, so, here's our destination, folks, and in our next video, we shall go in and see what's inside. So, until then, this has been Hemis Frogman, I hope you enjoyed the video, and here, and I am now signing out. Peace!